Uh, yes, hello everybody. Uh, I'm trying to do an unboxing video here. I think uh, this might be interesting for um, bass guitar players. It's about a model that still is difficult to get a hold on here in Europe. Okay, let's see what's happening. Okay, we are a little uh, one step closer in the process and I, I can now reveal uh, um, what this guitar we are talking about. Some detailed view here. It's a Sire Marcus Miller Ju5, the new um, short scale model that was released in the US. Uh, in the beginning of July, I think, around 7th of, Ju 7th of July. Um, and um, I um, immediately started to look for this instrument in Europe. And uh, I found the uh, quickest de delivery in, uh, in the shop. Um, web shop Bax Music. It's a, a company in, based in um, the Netherlands. Okay, it's time to open up the box and have a look at the instrument. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I will uh, open this up and have a look. At the first glance, uh, I can't see any problem with the instrument. Um, looks fine. Uh, beside the actual instrument, uh, there comes uh, a couple of uh, wrenches to use uh, for some adjustments if needed. Uh, and if you are familiar with the SAR Marcus Miller basses, uh, now uh, they deliver the second generation uh, bass guitars. And, and one of the main features of the second generation uh, is the uh, road fretboard edges. Uh, very cool indeed, I must say. And I'm very um, e uh, eager to test these smooth uh, fretboard edges. Uh, I can mention I, that I actually have a first generation Sire V7 bass. Uh, it's a good instrument. But um, active electronics is not important to me. And um, a disadvantage of that instrument is the weight. It's too heavy. My heaviest bass guitar. Uh, so I'm very curious on this short scale instrument. Uh, obviously, it should be a rather light instrument. Okay, let's uh, try out the instrument a little. Uh, it's plugged in in my um, Phil Jones uh, uh, 
uh, Phil Jones ba bass double four, a very small uh, combo, four kilo. I love it. It's tuned. Well, <laughs> I tuned it. Uh, the G string was um, uh, rather correct from the beginning, but um, okay. Um, well, um, the rolled edges are very um, soft, I must say. Uh, I suppose that must make it much easier with the action. to do with uh, that this is actually a short scale bass. This might be one of the disadvantages if you are talking um, some um, cons of, of this instrument. Before um, it's very smooth to move the hand here. Uh, yeah. What can I say? Um, the first. Uh, test um, I, I'm quite satisfied um, and um, for sure this um, surbase is not as heavy as my first generation V7 this is a rather light 
um, and I actually uh, did some did a weight process earlier and uh, it's about 3.6 kilo it's uh, somewhat lighter than my uh, I have a couple of um, Hogstrom um, Super Sweet Bass, very interesting instrument. Mm. One I have is a vintage, the other one is a new, modern one. Uh, it's um, only 3.7 something, a full scale bass. But anyway, this is a light bass, feeds good here, the fretboard, and um, I will continue to use it the coming days, of course, and um, thank you for watching.